morning everyone welcome it is a beautiful morning here in northern michigan um it's a little chilly this morning up in northern michigan you never know it could be blazing hot in the summertime or you might need a jacket it just varies from day to day um i hope it warms up today but i am out here with my dog she's down here playing in the lake and it is 7 30 in the morning and I'm getting ready to paddleboard. That's my inflatable paddleboard over there. And I like coming out here early in the morning and paddleboarding. It is a great workout. Um, I'm very sore from yesterday. I paddleboarded for 30 minutes to 40 minutes, somewhere around there. And I, uh, you use a lot of core strength when you are paddleboarding. Um, balance you got to really try to work on balancing so uh, for some reason I may be favoring my right foot when I'm trying to balance on the board because my uh, my ankle's a little sore and I can feel it when I'm on the board um, so I'm going to kind of work on that today and try to balance out my weight and even it out on both legs but anyways um, I also went yesterday for a long ride in the woods on my new electric bike and I pedaled a lot. My bike has the ability to just go like a moped, or you can actually um, use pedal assist at different levels, and you can just turn the pedal assist off and ride it like a normal bike. And I pedaled a lot, and so I'm, I'm pretty sore, like in my legs and in my stomach area from doing these activities yesterday. So today I'm going to do them all over again. Just a repeat of what I did yesterday. I'm going to be sharing uh, my meals today with you throughout the day today on a low carb ketogenic diet. Um, I eat very low carb. I try to stay under 20 grams of carbs total per day, but I usually eat 10 grams or under, which uh, a lot of people call that ketovore because it's somewhere in between a ketogenic diet and a carnivore diet. But I just eat very low carb. I try to eat a lot of protein. I make meat my main source of food and um, it's just doing well for me. It's doing very well for me. Today I have an idea for dinner that I want to try. Um, I have a chicken crust pizza recipe. There's lots of chicken crust pizza recipes out there. But I like to use um, fresh ground chicken, not the canned chicken. I don't know. I just like the taste of it better and the texture of it better than the canned chicken. And um, so I'm going to try to smoke my pizza crust in the smoker today and see how that turns out. I've never done that before. Uh, so I'm going to make my crust like I normally do, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, and then I'm going to put it in my smoker and let it smoke and cook. And then I will add my toppings. I'm not sure. I mean, I probably will put the toppings on it, put it back in the smoker, let the cheese and everything get a little smoky. And then I may put it in the oven under the broiler just to kind of crisp and brown up the cheese because that's the way I like it. We'll see how it turns out you know, in the smoker, but I'm going to experiment with that today. So stay tuned for that. I have a phone call this morning at 10 o'clock with the editor from Woman's World Magazine. If you've missed it out, if, you're, if it's your first time here, Woman's World Magazine contacted me a few weeks ago and they saw me on YouTube and wanted to do an article on me. And so I already did the photo shoot, which was a lot of fun. I posted all of the uh, journey of it here on YouTube, but, um, Everything is all set except for just nailing down the details in the article. And so I'm supposed to be talking with her today. And she said they have two dates that they're trying to decide between for uh, which one to put the article in. So I'm not sure if that's going to be this month, next month. I have no idea. I'll know more once I talk to her this morning. So that's what's going on with that. And then after the phone call, me and Ed will make our first meal today and I'll be back to show you what we're having um, for our first meal. And I've already had coffee this morning. I had one cup of black coffee this morning already and I'm gonna paddleboard and then I'll probably go in and grab another cup and then I'll get my water, my electrolytes and all of that. So uh, I'll talk I'm to you soon. I'm gonna share with you a quick summer drink that I have been enjoying and it is a slushy and all i do is i take some ice and some water um i like to fill up more ice than water 
and put it in a blender. And then I take a packet of Element. This is the raspberry salt. And I just pour it in there. Element, in case you're wondering, is a very clean electrolyte drink mix. There's no junky ingredients in these. They're sweetened with stevia, they're sugar-free, they're gluten-free, and they taste great. They have a science-backed ratio of sodium, magnesium, and potassium. They're great for summertime when you're sweating and you're outside doing a lot of summer activities. These are great for everyone. So I just pour in a packet and blend it up. It's gonna get loud for a second. Okay. Just pour it in your glass. This makes a delicious icy drink to enjoy on a hot summer day. Right now, Element has a special offer for my viewers. If you go to the link that is right here on the screen at drinkelement.com forward slash low carb revelation that will be down below this video at the top of the description box you click on that link go over to elements website make a purchase of anything on the website and element will send you a free sample pack just like this one that has eight different delicious flavors so you can sample them all or gift this to a friend element also has some new sparkling waters over there they're delicious i have an order on its way here can't wait till it gets here i love the citrus so go check them out Thank you, Element, for sponsoring this video. That's good. All right, so I'm over here at the stove. I have my oven preheating right now to 375 degrees, and I'm gonna make my baked French eggs. I have a video, actually I have several videos on how I make my baked French eggs. They are in my cookbook, as well as the sausage gravy. Um, I have my little skillet going right here. It's a very small skillet because this is a very small amount of gravy that I'm gonna be making. This is the breakfast sausage that I'm gonna be using. We get this when we buy a whole pig and we try to get as much of the breakfast sausage that he can make out of that whole hog because his breakfast sausage is amazing. This is a little shout out to Holstein's Butcher Block. Uh, that's where we get our cows, we get our pig, we get our fresh eggs. Um, it's just a great place. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sausage all browned up. I'm going to put just a little bit of salt on this because uh, the sausage already has a great amount of flavoring to it. So just a little bit. So once you get your breakfast sausage all browned up, I personally do not drain the grease off of the sausage you can if you want to i like to have the grease plus i do put a little butter on there as well so i like to have the extra fat in here so that when i sprinkle the xanthan gum in here it really um absorbs it and that's what i use for my thickener it only takes a small amount of this to thicken your gravy so just about a teaspoon will be enough. I'm actually going a little bit less than that because this is not a full amount of gravy like I usually make. So today I just put in about a half a teaspoon and you just want to mix that in and kind of let the xanthan gum absorb into the grease and let it brown up a little bit. Next thing that I'm gonna add is some beef broth. Normally, and in my cookbook, I use chicken broth, but I already had this open in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. I'm just eyeballing it today. The measurements are in my cookbook for a full pan of it, if you wanna make a lot. I'm gonna turn your heat down. You're gonna let it simmer for a few minutes and that gives the xanthan gum and the broth time to thicken up a little bit hope you can see here I know it's kind of far away but this is getting nice and thick now I'm gonna add some heavy cream to this and again I'm just eyeballing it and I just let that simmer until it gets nice and thick, just a few minutes. I'm not a huge pepper person anymore, but one of the few times that I use pepper is on sausage gravy. I just think it's really good. And 
that's it. I just let it simmer until it's nice and thick. I'm gonna get my French eggs in the oven and we'll be back when all this is done. I'll see you then. All right, so biscuit and gravy, a double baked French egg. There's two eggs in each one of my cups. I have a jumbo silicone muffin pan and I make two eggs in each little cup. So two eggs and then I got one of those rolls that's made out of egg whites and gravy. And it's gonna be good. Ed's making his, he got double of everything. He's got two of the eggs, two of the biscuits. Wow. Oh, wow, you like mashed up your... I just cut one in half and put a half on each and then added... You got like a gravy breakfast gravy sandwich. Gravy breakfast sandwich, baby. That's yeah. right, French egg gravy breakfast Bre sandwich. He's the breakfast king. All right, we're gonna go ahead and eat breakfast. I'll be back. I just got off the phone with Woman's World Magazine, basically just answered some more questions as to how they're gonna write the article. They are projecting that the issue is gonna come out in September. Although I don't have a confirmed date, they are looking at September for the article to come out. I definitely will keep you all posted and let you know when I get that date and when it's coming out and all of that. So right now I'm getting ready to make a coffee. Um, this coffee, the way I'm gonna make it today, I'm blaming on my daughter-in-law. She's kind of got me hooked on this coffee. So before I started keto, a few years ago, I used to go to Tim Hortons and get a French vanilla cappuccino like very often. I was really hooked on those. And I haven't had one in a few years since I've been doing this. There's just way too much sugar in them and I just, I don't go toward that anymore. But she told me that she has been putting this vanilla prime protein in her coffee with a little bit of cream and it tastes like a French vanilla cappuccino. And I will tell you, it tastes so good. To me, it tastes better than Tim Horton's French vanilla cappuccino. Now I do make mine with my Nespresso, so it's real frothy and it is like a cappuccino texture. She's actually made it with regular coffee. You can just use a whisk and just whisk it up and you know get it kind of frothy that way. But it is extra special, let me tell you. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this going here. I have a Malazio pot in here, and I'm going to be putting in one scoop, a whole scoop, into this mug. I have a discount code for Prime Protein, Low Carb Revelation, all one word. If you go to their website, all capitals, you can put that in and get a discount when you place your order. That is for customers who order for the first time. You can only use that code one time, but very often Equip Prime has promotions and sales. And when they do, I let you know, and you can, uh, people who have already used that code can take advantage of those codes. But right now there's not a code. I have my little milk frother over here, and I have some heavy cream in here, just bringing it to a little froth. And I'm gonna pour that in. While that's mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and use this little whisk. This little thing, the batteries must be dying on this because I gotta give it a little shake to get it started. Um, but I'm just gonna whisk in that protein powder, get it blended. It dissolves really good in hot water. I'm just gonna pour my cream right on top. Look at that. It's like a fancy coffee house coffee. And it tastes so good with that prime protein. And it's a great way to get an extra boost of protein in your day. It's so good. I'm gonna go and enjoy this. It looks like it's gonna rain like any minute now. So I'm gonna go sit outside and enjoy this coffee and take advantage of some fresh air. And I'll be back. So today I'm gonna try something that I've never tried before and that is smoking a chicken crust pizza in my little electric smoker. I have a Masterbuilt electric smoker. It's outside on the deck and I'm preheating it right now to 250 degrees. This is gonna be trial and error for me. I really 
didn't look it up online. I don't even know if there's anyone who has smoked a chicken crust pizza before online. So I'm gonna start out by using a temperature of 250 degrees and I set the uh, temperature gauge for two hours. I don't think it's gonna take that long, but um, I just did that so it wouldn't shut off if the amount of time was not long enough. I would rather have more time than not enough time on there. Um, I have my ground chicken right here. I like fresh ground chicken versus the canned chicken that's already cooked. I prefer the fresh better for the pizza crust, um, but it's all preference. The chicken crust is great. It works great in the oven. We've even done this on our little Kamado grill on a pizza stone. It tastes great and it's really firm in texture and really holds up to toppings. So I'm gonna get my hands washed here and then I'm gonna put my ingredients in here, get this all made up and get it out in the smoker. So I'll be right back. Ingredient that I'm gonna add to my ground chicken is one egg. That just helps in holding the crust together. And I made a mess. I have some garlic powder here. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in, just um, eyeball it. I have the recipe for my chicken crust pizza over on my website, lowcarbrevelation.com. I also have a fly flying around in my kitchen right now, which drives me nuts. But if you see it going around, it just happens up here. We are in the woods and every time you open the door, something tries to come in. All right, I have some salt I'm gonna add to this. And then I have Parmesan cheese. I grate my own Parmesan cheese, so there's no fillers. This is just Parmesan cheese. I buy the blocks of it and I throw it in chunks into my blender and blends up into a uh, grated form. So I'm gonna pour some of that in there. And then I'm gonna mix this all together. Now my thoughts on this was that I'm gonna put this right on the grate in the smoker. So I am going to make two small pizzas so that they'll be easier to handle versus if I make a large pizza, try to flip that over halfway through, it might be a little bit cumbersome. So I'm going to just divide this into two and make two smaller pizzas. I think it'll be easier to handle that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out to the smoker get them on the grate and I'll be back to check in later to let you know how it's doing. You know how I said this was gonna be trial and error? <laughs> so my plan A did not work. I'm going with plan B. Um, I kind of thought that might happen. I put the uh, pizza crust on the grate and it started like falling through. It's not as sturdy as hamburger would be. Um, so plan B, so I used a little baking pan that I took out there and I just patted it down into one rectangular pizza and I put it in the smoker. And we're gonna try that. Thinking that after it cooks a little bit, it will start to firm up and I can take it off of the baking sheet and put it onto the grate. Right now it is on the baking sheet. So I'm gonna clean up and All I'll right. be done. So we just took this off the pan and put it on the rack and it looks like it's about half cooked. So I'm gonna get some toppings and put the, put on this and let it finish cooking. All right, we're about to pull this pizza out. It looks amazing. Do you want me to hold it down at your level? It looks pretty awesome. So I took it off the pan or Ed did, and put it on the rack and after it firmed up, and it looks great. Let's look at the bottom here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's so there's the pizza. We're going to let it cool, and we're going to eat our wedge salad. So this is just iceberg lettuce cut into, uh, like, quartered up, and I have a couple of little cherry tomatoes, uh, my homemade ranch dressing, and blue cheese. Um, we used to use this balsamic vinegar all the time and we have been without it for a long time and I just ordered a new batch. I ordered two bottles of this and this is 18 year 
aged balsamic vinegar. <laughs> That's awesome. And I just put a little drizzle because balsamic vinegar does have sugar in it. So you don't want to overdo it. It's very strong in flavor anyway, so you don't need a whole lot. And that's going to be my salad. We'll be back when we try the pizza. All right, so Ed just cheated and took a bite <laughs> off Ed camera. Don't wait. Ed, don't wait. All right, so pizza. It's It smells very smoky. Is it too smoky? Try it. Look at the crust. Look at that. Looks like pizza crust. different it is it, it's got a strong smoke flavor to it but it's good Booker has this little tube that inserts into the side you put the wood chips in there and you put it down turn it and it dumps them down on the burner and makes the it makes the smoke the smoke and did you, soak, I, did you soak them the wood chips yeah but i did it twice i added two times so maybe just the one time yeah. would have been enough smoke. Because it's pretty smoky. It is pretty smoky. But it's definitely very different, unique. <laughs> it's very filling. Two pieces is about all you're going to be able to eat. Pizza is pure protein. The crust. And it's so filling. One to two pieces. It's like eating a big chicken breast, you know? Just wanted to try it. I definitely think I, I would I wouldn't mind doing it again. I just wouldn't add that second batch of chips because it's like whoa, really smoky. But back, back in the day before we started eating like this, I could eat like seven or eight of these pieces easy. Regular pizza. Yeah, regular pizza, mm -hmm. no problem. But this is so different and it's very good. You want to eat more of it, but I already feel it. Yeah. It's um a lot different because I used to eat pizza. I mean, we would order like a large pizza. We would demolish it and breadsticks. <laughs> yep. And, and chicken wings. <laughs> and then be hungry in a couple hours. Buffalo wings. Yep. We haven't, man. We used to go to that same pizzeria down by our house down there mm -hmm. all the time, and we haven't been there since. <laughs> nope. There's a vent on top, and. I had it not all, not, it was kind of closed. So that would have let more smoke out, I think. Yeah, when you trap the smoke in, it packs into the food. So what's the, what's the difference in opening the, the little valve on the smoker and closing it? That's what the difference is. The, the more you have it closed, the more smoke stays inside and permeates the food. Okay. The more it's open, it kind so, of flows through. Next time I do this, that's going to be open to let the smoke flow through. This is not a heavy meat that needs, you know, a lot no, of smoking. Right. Leave it open. Right. Let the smoke flow through it. And then uh, just one little batch of wood chips. But it is great. I mean, look at the, look at the, uh, how it cooked up in there. That's awesome. What kind of uh, wood chips did you use? Um, I think they were apple. I was just, I had a little bit in a bag. I just wanted to use up. Very good. So, so that is going to be a wrap for today. Definitely try this stuff. If you like balsamic vinegar. So, oh, I can tell a story behind that. This is good stuff. I'll so, tell, let me tell. Okay. That. So before I had my accident a couple years ago, several Way years before ago, that, years ago. I had a customer. She gave me a bottle of this as a tip. She asked me, do you and your wife like balsamic vinaigrette? And I'm like, sure. She's like, you take this home with you and you guys will love it. She was right. This stuff is awesome. You can only get it in um, in, in Plymouth, um, Plymouth, Michigan. There's four or five different locations on the back here where you can get it, but that's the closest to us. You can get it online. Us. And you can get it online. And we paid about 20 bucks a bottle with shipping. And it, it may seem a little expensive, but... We don't use that much. Just a little drizzle. 18-year-old traditional balsamic vinegar. No... No um, additives, no preservatives. No, it, it tastes delicious. So this was years ago when this lady brought this 
when this lady gave him a bottle of this to bring home, it was a new sealed bottle. Yep. And um, we used it back then. Like I went through it. I used it. I put it on my strawberries, like yep. to make balsamic strawberries. Um, I made balsamic balsamic vinaigrette out of it, and we used it for wedge salad. And I went through it, and then. Uh, I had to figure out how to get more, so um, I had went online and I ordered two bottles, and that was a couple of years ago. And it's been maybe a year or so I've been out of it. And I bought some balsamic vinegar the other day to make our wedge salad with because it's really good with the ranch dressing, and then you Whoa. just put like a little sprinkles of the balsamic vinegar on there, and it's just so good. So I went to go to the store and I bought some, and it just was not the same. I I just, it was bland. This, yeah. this is this is awesome. Yeah, so I'm not an affiliate or anything. I don't have a discount, but it's Old World Olive Company. They have olive oils too. I just ordered, when I ordered the two of these, I ordered two bottles, and then I ordered a bottle of bacon infused olive oil. I haven't tried it yet. It has a dent in the bottom of the jar. Yeah. Bottle. What that Good mean? stuff. Well, wine has a dent in it to keep the sediment from settling on the bottom. I don't know, I guess it's more quality. I, I'm not a wine connoisseur, so I have no idea. All right, so very good. I just went on their website and ordered it. It's actually not far from our other house downstate, like, you know, probably a 45 minute drive from our other house. Um, but it's like, I think it was like six ninety five or something, $7 for shipping all the way up here. So I'm like, it's it's worth it for the shipping you know that little bit of shipping so like you said it pairs very well with your homemade ranch mm -hmm. and it'll last us a really long time so nice little splurge mm -hmm. worth it all right so that was good i i ate two pieces oops <laughs> i ate two pieces and i'm full and that's going to be it for the night so um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Make sure you subscribe and give us the thumbs up. Phone's about to die. Have a great night. God bless.